Hello everyone, I'm here to do my Friday reads, uh, so let's just get into it. Um, I read five books this week, and the first one I read is Siempre han hablado por nosotras by Najat El Hatim. I think it's pronounced something like that, I'm sorry if I mispronounced, but this is a, a Moroccan woman that grew up in Spain, and it's her experience with feminism in the context of um, this intercultural and um, interracial feminism and how um, well she makes a point of that actually um, just because someone is a white feminist doesn't mean that they cannot talk about intersectional uh, feminism and give their ideas uh, at the end it's all about equality so um, she, she claims that we should be aware of the problems that intersectionalism brings but it's not disqualifying for someone that is white to talk about about feminism as a whole uh, and she also talks a lot about cancel um, culture and the damage that is done to feminism so i think that was a very interesting book it was very short uh, i'm sorry it's not available in english i believe but uh, if you can read in spanish definitely i would recommend and the next one i read it's uh, the narrow road to the deep north um, by Richard Flanagan, and this was part of O.C. April. This is an Australian author, and this bo book follows the protagonist, that is um, a medical doctor from Tasmania. And at the beginning of the book, it's just talking about his love life, and um, at some point, he needs to go to to the Second World War in Asia, and he's uh, captured by the Japanese and um, forced to work. Um, for the Japanese railways. So it talks a little bit about his experience before, during and after the war. Um, I thought it was interesting, there was some beautiful, beautiful writing there, but um, I also found the story a little bit fragmented. It didn't seem like a, a full story. It, it was uh, very clear when it was talking about before the war and during the war. And it didn't seem to have connections in between the two. And then after the war, it sort of makes the connections, I'd say. Um, but yeah, it was um, it was an okay book for me. Uh, it, it, it again, if if you if you like descriptive, beautiful writing, this is um, that. But it's also a story um, that doesn't come together and it had some slow moments. So the pacing is not the best. Um, but yeah, and the third book I finished is The Soul of an Octopus by Sai Montgomery and I already talked about this in my nature tag that I will um, put in the cards or link it below or something um, but this one is um, basically about the author, it's also a non-fiction, it's about the author experiences interacting with octopuses and how smart they are and all that uh, good stuff, it was really good, I really enjoyed it um, and it's uh, perfect for uh, the spring -athon that is coming up next month. Um, and then I, I read uh, The Wither of Earthsea by Ursula, Ursula K. Le Guin. This is a fantasy children's book. Um, and it's basically about uh, this, this uh, boy called Ged that has magical abilities. And so he goes to um, a school for children that have these magical abilities. I don't know if school is the right uh, word. It's more like a, yeah, they certain amount of children that live together and they have, they don't really, as far as I understood, they don't have classes. It's more like um, an ongoing process of learning. But anyway, the, the thing is that he goes um, there and he's very cocky, he's very um, arrogant and he thinks he's the best so he has a a fight with um, his colleague this other boy and that creates like a shadow that attacks him and how he deals with that um, I thought it was um, it was a fun story and I um, I enjoyed it for what it was um, and it was a good palate cleanser about after all the um, the heavy books I read this month so I like that I'll continue with the series probably at some point. Um, and then 
Well, I read some more, but it was for the book surprise. And I know that we are allowed to say which books they are, but I prefer not to do so because I, I don't trust myself to not talk about them in the comments. So sorry about that. But just know that I read one um, book to price book uh, this week and I'm in the middle of another one. Um, and then af apart from that, I am also still currently reading uh, Le Miserable by Victor Hugo. Uh, in audiobook and I'm probably about 20% of the way in so this is going to take me a while <laughs> um, but yeah and then about next week there is the Do is 24 hour readathon I believe it's on Saturday but um, I'm not good with 24 hour readathons I cannot not sleep <laughs> um, so um, Lindsay from Lindsay's uh, Little Library I think uh, well, I, I'll link her below and uh, Doris from all the books decided that um, they also cannot do 24-hour readathons and they were going to do a 24-hour in 72-hour readathon and they were going to start today. Um, I'm not going to start today because I was working the whole day, um, but I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do Saturday, Sunday and Monday because Monday is a bank holiday here, so I have that uh, freedom of of extending it those three days and I'm going to aim to to read 24 hours within those three days um, and also they had the sort of goal to read a thousand pages in those three days and I'm also going to attempt that however I don't think I'm going to vlog it or anything because I have just calculated that all the booktube prize books that I have left are, are around a thousand pages so I think I'm going to do a book to price marathon um, because there are many interesting um, readathons coming next month and they are long month long so I don't want to have many other things going on during next month so I think I'm going to aim to try and finish all the book to price books um, this month um, and apart from that next week I would also like to read The Lost Flowers of Alice Hart that is something that I already uh, had in my in my I want to read pile of possibilities uh, for last week but I didn't manage to to pick it up so I think I will try to do that this next week um, just before April finishes um, so yeah that's all I read I hope you are all good and safe um, and healthy um, and yeah 